Therefore, it is correct that owner's desire is actually to minimize agglomeration economies and maximize transportation and labor cost. Dang, Joe, did you even hear what he said? What do you mean? It's supposed to be the total opposite. Here, let me explain. Well, you see, Joe, transportation and labor costs need to stay minimal. And on the other side, agglomeration economies need to maximize. There are three ways factory owners want to minimize cost by agglomeration, labor, and transportation cost. Anyways, the lower the labor cost, the more profit for yourself. And the higher the labor cost means the less profit for yourself. Good question, Joe. Well, you see, if you had your own business in real life, you would have to do all the work, but you'd make all the profits. On the other hand, you could hire employees, but you have to pay them, which means less profit, but less work. You are in the car of the sir, MP. But that is not important. What is important is transportation cost site where transportation cost is low, meaning where place is least expensive for bringing raw material to the pop or point of interest. An example would be if you are managing a supermarket and if you get all your produce from somewhere farther that would mean more money, and less money if closer. And lastly Joe is agglomeration, the clustering of industries. Lastly, to be able to minimize agglomeration is when enterprises cluster in the same area and these industries can assist each other through shared talents, services, and facilities. An example would be a grocery store in the city where all the industries would need groceries and food. Deuces.